G'day guys, Elfie here. Um, I was supposed to do this last week, I got sick, I'm better, and here we go. This um, 1.9 Education Edition adds in some pretty cool um, functionality that I think we can capitalise on to support uh, a broad range of classroom management techniques. How's that? Uh, <laughs> so what I'm going to share in this video is something that I've made um, to try and support teachers in classrooms in managing some of the misbehaviors that we've heard of from the community. Um, so what you need to do, the first thing you need to do, unfortunately, is go to the web, right? And then if you go to a website that is this one, so bit.ly slash eduelfie cmp, capitals matter, um, that will take you to a Google Drive in which you can download a behavior pack. Okay, so you want to do that and it will download a nice behavior pack for you. The second link you want to go to is this one here, eduelfie cmp commands, again, capitals matter. And that will take you again to Google Drive, but it will take you to a spreadsheet. Um, and this spreadsheet will be useful later. All right, so just have both of them there. Once you've downloaded it, just open it up and it will import into Minecraft Education Edition. And it says successfully imported. It's It says 1.8.2, it's probably a 0.5. <laughs> <laughs> release um, but it's a work in progress and it's an active work in progress so if you've got feedback or if you've got things you want to see added or something like that please let me know uh, either in the comments reach out on Twitter join our discord whatever all the links will be everywhere um, but yeah let us know so what this does I'm just going to create a new world I'm going to change it to creative we're going to show coordinates but before we hit that final create you can set up any other any other thing you want um, as far as classroom settings go. Um, but before you do anything else, add in the behavior pack, Edgewell Classroom Management. Okay, and then just hit Create. And what that's going to do is add that behavior pack to your world and allow us to do some pretty cool things. Um, I think we're barely scratching the surface of what we're capable of doing, uh, but this is sort of a, a me testing the waters, I guess. Okay, so here we are. And now we go split screen. So I'm going to split this over here. Okay, so we've downloaded, installed, we've started the world, we've done this. Now we're going to run the command slash function create. Oop, press the wrong button. So slash function create. And that's going to take me here. And you can see that it's spawned me somewhere. But not only has it has it teleported me somewhere, it's actually put in all of these blocks around me and, and, and sort of cleared out a space as well. So one thing I'm looking at doing is using this to um, make some of my other more complex builds a little bit easier to bring in instead of having to, <laughs> there's lava there, instead of having to export the world and go and play an MC edit and bring it in. I'm hoping to actually convert a lot of those, particularly my scoreboard. Um, if you saw my scoreboard stream, um, all those builds there, I'm hoping to translate into this kind of setup here. Now it says next step is five, populate the command blocks you would like to have control of by copy pasting the appropriate commands into the appropriate command blocks above the colored concrete blocks. So these are the colored concrete blocks here. The wool blocks are bonuses or custom ones. All right. So the two I'm most um, proud of, I guess, is the freeze players one and that goes in orange. Okay, so I've worked out a way that we can freeze all students um, and also the agent um, prevents spawning of agent. Okay, the rest we can add in um, and I will do it just because it won't actually take that long. So blue, green, and unfortunately, they're not really in any sort of order. They were, and then someone gave me some feedback and said, pointless, the way you've got it set up, do better. So I did, and here we are. 
So the whole process here, if you haven't seen my um, classroom management tips video from September last year, what I've done here is converted all of the stuff that was in that that is still relevant in this version and put it over in um, this command array that will allow you to actually control these things. Um, so what's that? That's yellow. So, so that will allow you to control these things on the fly from anywhere in the world. Okay, so that's all of the concrete command blocks populated. So I've had a little bit of practice, but that's really all it's going to take. And now all you need to know is the commands. Okay, um, and this I haven't got a good way of, of translating my thinking to everyone other than just listing them. So if I then say function freeze, and I've got no one in here to freeze but it tells me I've frozen the class. And you can see it populated a command block there. If I then run freeze again, oop, nope, unfreeze. Right, we have unfrozen the class and that command block disappears. Okay, um, stop agents. Okay, you can see that populates the redstone block above that, which will stop the agent from spawning. Now that I have found really useful and if you just want it on all you need is this command in a repeating command block. Um, the reason I like having that toggleable is if I do want students to use it I can then just go function allow agents and now when I bring my agent in he will stay. Um, uh, function, I don't need to do that, I can just go up, stop agents and he disappears. All right, what's probably the most beneficial for most classroom things is stop common. So if I allow agents, okay, um, and allow common again, and we'll start that again. All right, what's probably most beneficial for the classroom, okay, and I'll make this full screen so we can get a proper view, is function stop common. Now these are the common issues I've heard from the community about classroom management issues, things like invisibility potions, ender dragons, things like that. If you just do that, it stops all of them straight away. Now you do have um, dial in control. So if you wanted to allow students to use ender pearls, you just go function allow ender pearls, right? And that will trigger function allow ender pearls. And that will trigger the blue block or untrigger the blue block as it may be. Um, and you can, so you have individual control, uh, stop ender pearls, right? Or you have global control basically. Um, the agents being controlled by common and the freeze, the freeze is definitely not a common one. Um, that's sort of a, a run when you need it command. Um, but the common one, function allow common, right, allows you to control most of the behavioral concerns in Minecraft Education Edition with just that one command. Now, the wool blocks are there for you to add your own controls, okay? And it's it's really tricky. I don't know what else people want. I'm happy to add more commands into this if community comes back and says, hey, we want to be able to control this. We'll come up with a strategy and a solution and we'll make it work. All right. But uh, stop custom one. You can see we've got actually 16 custom controls here. Um, that we can toggle on and off. Okay, and there is a stop all, as there is a stop all custom, stop all custom command, okay, which will trigger all of them, and of course, an allow all custom command that will untrigger all of them. So, anyway, that gives you the idea about what this is doing. What I really like about the way this allows us to work is I can now 
so populate. When all control options you want have been populated, type slash function create done. So slash function create done. And it takes me back here to where I was initially spawned. All right. And now I can be anywhere working with kids, anywhere I want. Okay. And I can say, hang on, guys. The behavior is getting a bit mayhem here. Can you all just calm down, please? And I can freeze everyone but me. And then once I've got everyone back on track, I can unfreeze everyone. Or if I'm wandering around the room and I see students using ender pearls to escape where I am, or their people are complaining about invisibility potions or whatever, it doesn't matter where I am. You can type function stop common, and it stopped all of those things. So if I grab an ender pearl, you will see that I can no longer throw ender pearls. If I allow common, then I can throw ender pearls. All right. So I don't know of a better way of explaining how to use this. Again, if you have feedback in particular, if you have feedback on the way this is laid out, um, please let me know. There is one other command that was requested by the community. Um, and that's in step nine here, a function dop command. Um, there are some instances where accounts have only been sort of created as faculty accounts, which apparently, I haven't tested this, apparently do join all worlds with op. So what you can do with this behavior pack is run a function dop command, and that will dop everyone but you. Okay, everyone but the person running that command. So if you have students using um, worlds and they come in with op and you don't want them to, once all students have joined, function dop, and that will dop everyone but the person running it. The disadvantage is, and I'm working on this at the moment, this will be in the next update most likely, is how do we ensure that when a student disconnects and reconnects, they get deopt again? Because if a player that should be opt leaves the world and rejoins, then they will be opt again and you will need to run the function deop command again. All right. Um, clear as mud, that's it from me. Um, download links and everything are in the description below. Um, reach out on Twitter if you want a hand or join our Discord link below and probably on the screen right now if I'm editing right. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Have a great day and happy Minecrafting. See ya.